going out to trial my new race board from Loco. Um, she's up there look, somewhere in a raggedy bag. Um, yeah, so I'll check in in a minute when we're all loaded up and ready to go. So just a quick chat while I'm in the van. Um, for those of you that don't know, I went up to Newcastle yesterday. I did 430 miles in a day yesterday. Um, went up to Newcastle, picked up the board, um, did some snaps with Joe from Loco. Um, had a good old perv over the two um, prototypes that we've got on the go. So I'm riding the 24. Um, I should be riding it this weekend at Lake Windermere. And he's got a 22, which I'm going to try on Saturday at Windermere and see how it goes. Um, 22 for a bloke my size is probably on the borders of what I can do on my abilities for balance um, but as uh, Dr Bryce told me last night I'm a ballerina apparently um, I wish I was a ballerina um, so yeah I'm going to try the 22 when um, we meet up at Windermere before the race um, but it's most likely I'm going to be on the 24 um, but yeah I'm just going to go out and test it it's a bit windy outside, so there should be some chop to play on on the river. Um, we'll see how it goes into wind and, and out of wind and across wind. Um, but yeah, come with me, let's go play. shade I'm just gonna do a quick little look at the board so here it is the new 2018-2019 locomotion 14 foot 24 wide um, yeah she's pretty she's pretty and from yesterday's test she was pretty fast so at the minute it's still naked it's got no deck pad on it um, I've had no chance to put a deck pad on, just got a little bit of wax up where I stand. So, a nice little blocky tail, plenty of width to stand on. When, when you're on the board, this actually comes underneath the water line, so the, uh, this edge just disperses the water nicely. Uh, talking to Stu yesterday, he's quite happy with the tail. Could have done with a little bit more rounding off on the sides here, but we're good. It still works, it still does what it's supposed to do. So Stu is the designer, I've helped with a few bit of input from what I do. The best thing about this board though, and it's beautiful, is this nose. Can't really see very well in this light, but it's nice and sharp. Sheds water perfectly, pretty flat on the bottom. But yeah. There she is, looking awesome in battleship grey and green. Right, let's go get her on the water. I'm back here, I'm on the riverbank, it's a bit windy. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Um, so, just to have another look at that nose. Now it's on the flat. So yeah. Beast. So this is weighing in at about ten and a half kilos. Um, at the minute, no deck pad on it though, so there's a couple, there's a couple of grams there to go on. But there we go.
sorry I couldn't take you with me. My GoPro died as I got it on and got ready to film something earlier. Um, so yeah, no luck with the GoPro for today. Um, yeah, I've just done two miles. Just a quick dip before I have to go and do the school run. Did one mile into a headwind, and that took me just over 15 minutes, which is pretty good for me. Um, and then I've just done one mile coming back with the wind. <laughs> it's alright. And uh, little friend showing an interest. Um, so I've just done one mile coming back with the wind, and that's taken me just over 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, you can see the strength of the wind. Um, yeah, the board's good. The board's really good. Feels comfortable, feels stable. Looks good. The camera doesn't like that yellow, yeah, like that green that nose. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good. I'm happy. Loco VE Film A Yellow Belly Sup collaboration. Done good. Shouts out to the builder though, Joe from Loco. Built in a garage in South Shields. Bit of a legend that is, that's pretty good going. So, that's me done for the day. I'm going to go do the school run. Catch you all later.